Out of 470 jail facilities across the country, 21 have recorded COVID-19 cases according to the Bureau of Jail Management and Penology or BJMP. A total of 1,151 persons deprived of liberty or PDLs have tested positive for COVID-19. There are only 175 active cases as 918 have already recovered while 15 succumbed to the deadly virus. Because of this, the BJMP strictly implements the health and safety protocols set by the Department of Health to avoid the further spread of the disease. Those include the suspension of face-to-face -face visitation, but the PDL's relatives are encouraged to use online visitation as this helps PDL's psychologically. According to BJMP spokesperson Jail Chief Inspector Xavier Solda, PDLs with COVID-19, even those who are experiencing symptoms of the disease, are isolated immediately. While severe cases are brought to hospitals for appropriate treatment upon the court's consent. Kapag po ang pasyente no, ay nagmanifest pa lang ng COVID-19-like symptoms, ina-isolate na po natin yan. Ang mabuti pong ginagawa ng ating mga jail facilities, meron po tayong health monitoring sa lahat po ng mga PDL natin. The BJMP is also resolving congestion in jail facilities as this poses high risk for COVID-19 transmission. About 1,500 PDLs vulnerable to the disease, particularly the elderly, those with medical conditions, and pregnant women have been released from BJMP after tapping the court for the resolution of their cases. More jail facilities have also been constructed through a 7 billion peso budget allotted in the last three years. Ang ginagawa po ng BJMP hindi lamang siya basta nagtatayo ng mga jail facilities sa mga probinsya o lugar na kung saan uh, merong kailangan itayo ng mga jail facilities. Tinitingnan natin ano po ba yung pinaka-congested. Doon po ang inuuna natin ang mapagtayuan. Asher Kadapan Jr., UNTV News and Rescue, we serve the people, we give glory to God.